Hey, how's it going, Nick? Douglas James here. Appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. So this is going to be your SEO analysis. So I just want to jump straight into it. So as you can see, we're on my site where you found me. So thanks for contacting me through the site, amplocal.com. Um, so here is your site. So I'm going to jump in some stats that you may or may not already know, kind of educate you a little bit, talk to you about SEO, why it's important and look at where you're at online versus your competitor and show you what we're gonna to do to get you there. All right, so why do you need to be at the top of Google? Because 80% of your customers are gonna to go to the search engine, type in something like San Diego air conditioning, San, uh, AC repair, HVAC services, San Diego, all these long tail keywords, and they're gonna click on pretty much the number one ranked person. You know, so um, pretty much 91% of all the clicks come from the first page, 70% from the top three. And if you're number one, then you control about 40% of the total business for each search term. So um, SEO has like four, it has 200 determining factors, but I'm not going to talk to you about all of them. I'm just going to talk to you about the uh, four of the most important factors when it comes to SEO all right but before I jump into that let me show you kind of like where you're at online and where I found you so I'm in what's called in Google Chrome an incognito window it's got this little guy with a hat on it so there's no history here whatsoever completely a blank search right so I'm gonna use San Diego air conditioning all right because that's probably that is the most commonly searched word okay this maybe uh, AC repair as well so for this term I found you all right not until page seven so I'm just gonna go ahead and go to page seven because I know exactly where you're at if you're not on page one you might as well be on page 20 all right so you're at the top of page seven right here okay so tons of room for improvement um, in Chula Vista I know you have an office there you're not on the first page I'm not even gonna bother trying to go to other pages Coronado, you're on page two at the bottom right here. Okay. And then for your local search, <clears throat> and by local search, I mean your, uh, for Google Maps, okay, because 30% of your customers are going to click through here. You're not in the top three here, right? Um, so if I click more places, it's not until the second page that I found find you. So I'll go to page two. And here you are at the top of page two, which rarely someone's going to find you there. They're going to click on the top of page one. All right, so I think I beat that horse pretty dead. Uh, it's kind of hard to find you on Google, hence why you reached out to me on my site. Um, so let me jump into the procedure. So the first thing we want to look at, I mentioned that there's 200 determining factors. Not going to talk about all of them. Just going to talk to you about four of the most important ones. You nail these four, everything else kind of falls into place, right? Um, the first one is content. Like, are, how much, how much content do you have on your, on mainly on the home page of your site? You know, how many times are you mentioning all these long keyword keywords like you know air conditioning repair, AC repair, San Diego air conditioning. Um, HVAC services, San Diego HVAC, there's so many of them. You know, I could pull up the Google AdWord uh, keyword planner. I'm not going to, I'm going to stick to the most profitable one, which I know is air conditioning and air conditioning repair. Um, and you want to give Google like as much information as possible so they know what to rank you for. So if you're not mentioning those keywords on your home page in abundance in the city you're located, they're not going to care about your site and want to give you good positions. So as I'm going through your site, I'm looking for large chunks of content, large chunks of information. And here we are at the end. So pretty much this is the extent of your content right here. So I see, <coughs> excuse me, I don't really see, I see air conditioning once. You know, you, we should be able to see air conditioning, uh, San Diego or San Diego air conditioning a few times you know, um, in bold, hyphenated, all that good stuff, all these photos need, need to be named properly. Okay, and this is only something that I'm gonna be able to do with access to your site. I can't do it for you or show you here. You know, so we need to add at least 1,500 to 2,000 words of authority, well, I'll call it authoritative content. So just to give you an example, I went to Google, type in elephant, 
So Wikipedia is notorious for number one on searches like this is because of their content. I mean, look at this page, endless information about elephants, their habitat, where they came from, evolution, what they eat, you name it. It's like 50,000 words. You just need about 2,000 words, all right? Very easy. Easy, easy fix, okay? Can write some awesome content for you to let Google know that, hey, I'm trying to rank for these keywords. I'm doing this business. Look at my site and they're going to take you a little bit more serious okay so that's the first thing we got to do second thing i'm not going to spend too much time on because you're already killing it mobile friendly site okay 82 percent of your customers are going to be looking at you through an iphone or a samsung galaxy probably one of those two phones those are two most popular phones all right and probably you know ipads and tablets and stuff like that as well so your site's mobile friendly. We don't have to worry about you know changing the design of the site or anything like that. All right, so the third thing. So you heard me mention, remember earlier I was talking about the Google Maps and how you're on page two of the Google Maps? All right, the main reason why is because you don't have any local citations filled out correctly. All right, what are local citations? So these are listings online that uh, pretty much directories where you can list your business, all right? Google is one of them. Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yellow Pages, White Pages, or some other ones, all right? And there, this is a list of the top 50 that you wanna be on. Um, but right now, with this information, um, we don't have you, we have a 0%. So even your Google listing that we found on page two has an error, and it's not listed correctly on any of the listings, even though you do I believe you mentioned you did have a Facebook. You probably have a Bing and a Yelp. But you know what? There's something wrong with your Google listing, and there's something wrong with all the other listings because this uh, program that I'm using is not picking it up. So that means Google's not picking it up, and that's why you're on page two of the Google Maps, and nobody's finding your site through Google Maps. The only reason why I find it, found it is because I'm analyzing your SEO, <laughs> but, but I'm not a customer. So... There you go. Um, but yeah, so this is a, this is a huge problem. Um, so we got to go through here and make sure you list it in all these citations. All right, but there's actually thousands of these, but we picked the most popular ones. In every industry, there's a set that you definitely want to be in. Like for you, Home Advisor is a good one that you want to be in. That I'm not, I don't think it's actually on this list. It should be, maybe, maybe, maybe not. But for your industry and what you do for those types of services, home services, you want to be like on Home Advisor. Not to get business through Home Advisor because they have a lead generation and stuff, but it's garbage and it's, it's expensive and the leads suck. But you would just want to be on there to show Google, hey, my name, address, and phone number is on this directory that is relevant to the industry that I'm in of HVAC services. That's all it is. All right, so you want to be in all these Home advisory is another one, just to give an example, but a, a bunch, bunch more. So we're going to get you listening more over time. All right, so one, two, three. So that's three important things I'll talk to you about. The content, mobile-friendly site, and the local citations for Google Maps. Now, how do we get you ranked organically? Okay, organically was right underneath the Google Maps, right? Um, so you mentioned, you know, this tool, SpyFu, SEMrush. These are awesome tools. Um, I'm going to show you real quick, like, how much, how many clicks you're getting to your site before I should talk to you about organic rankings, and that's the fourth and final thing I'm going to talk to you about. But right now, through SpyFu, this is telling us you're getting about seven visitors a month, okay? And it looks like you're, you're pumping about 1.5K or so in the AdWords, which is cool, and it's giving you around 500 clicks a month, okay? So that's how you're keeping the float right now is through AdWords. And I understand you want to scale that, you know, because every, every AdWord campaign, trust me, I don't care who you are, it needs improvement, okay? And there's ways, a lot of ways that we can do it. All right, um... So you got seven visitors a month, according to SpyFu, all right? Um, but I'll, I really like using SEM Rush because it gives you actual data on, you know, when somebody typed in, you know, San Diego air conditioning or S San Diego AC repair, um, you know, how quick did they find you? Or Chula Vista or Coronado, you know, because you're going to be, you're going to pop up um, in better searches for those smaller cities, but San Diego, that's, that's the home run hitter. All right, so for you, um, according to SEM Rush, you're actually getting about 30 visitors a month that way. Not too shabby, okay? But there's incredible room for improvement. Let me show you Bill Howe. He's like ranked number one, okay? So this is ridiculous. 6.4 thousand 
visitors a month. Okay, he's killing it. He's all over TV, even though that's like a dinosaur today. But people, um, you know, he's just everywhere. You know, so you definitely don't need TV or radio. You need Google. Um, but uh, and I've never used this service. I just I've seen it, and I'll probably never call him because if I go to Google, I'll see him. He's number one, and that's how I justify the fact that you know he's trustworthy. And that's how your customer is going to do it too. So, um, so that's going to give you an example. That's how many times it's getting searched. It's actually getting searched uh, over twenty thousand plus times a month. So he's still hitting a small percentage of the market because people are still calling up a bunch of other companies, and doing business with a bunch of other companies, including yourself, right? I mean, you got you got tons of companies doing HVAC and air conditioning and stuff in San Diego. So there's a huge market for it. But just to give you an idea, that's what that's the difference between being number one and being number nothing, pretty much. You know, thirty and six point four thousand. So, all right, let me talk to you about the last thing. Wait, before I do that, um, I got these cool charts I like to show. Uh, so this shows you if you're number one compared to number ten, which is the last spot on Google, how much business you're getting. So as you can see, it's around thirty-five percent. You control when you're number one. Number ten is like three percent. And page two starts at 11, it's pretty much nothing, almost nothing, 1% maybe. So that's why you want to be in the top three, all right? Um, so this chart is what I'm going to talk to you about last. So to get you ranked organically, you have to have honorable mentions online or authoritative websites mentioning you online. So if I go to hvacforumblog.com where everybody loves talking about HVAC services and air conditioning and they just love life and talking about that um, and all, everyone in your industry that's a very very popular site let's use an example okay um, these are blogs these are articles or newsletters or, or you know sites online that a lot of people visit and a lot of people talk to each other online and if you can get an article on sites like this and have someone mention your site, meaning there's an article and in the text there's a link to your website, then that is called a backlink. Okay? Um, and you want to have lots and lots of backlinks and multiple, lots and lots of sites mentioning you online because that's going to tell Google, hey, this guy is popular and he's, he's got all this content on his page for all these keywords and I think that I should give him you know a higher rank on Google so that's what's gonna happen so all of these uh, backlinks and sites we're gonna build for you we have a database of thousands that we can link your site to all right and let me talk to you about these numbers so pretty much as you can see this trust flow zero that's the quality of your backlink um, and at a zero uh, looking at this chart you're not even meaning media uh, low quality okay you're at the bare bone bottom um, referring domains and backlinks that's the sites that's mentioning you online you have three backlinks okay that's that's like your foot barely in the door right there okay so you have two websites somewhere online talking about you three times that's what that's saying and but nobody cares about them because the trust flow is zero so it's really nobody just being brutally honest with you so you understand now let me show you Bill Howe, all right, so he's got 400 sites mentioning him online. He's got 24,000 links to his website, BillHowe.com, and their trust flow is 16. So let me go back to this chart. At a 16, we're over medium quality, approaching high quality, okay? So this is your number one rank, guys, in any market are going to be up in this range, you know, 20 and 25, just over 15, up to 20. Makes sense, right? So that's why... He is ranked number one, and your rank number can't find you. All right, so let me give you an example. Like, I'll just show you um, amplocal.com. Obviously, found me through my site because I'm ranked like number two for SEO San Diego, um, and this is why. So I'm, let's get rid of Bill Howe. We don't like Bill Howe. So I put my website in there, and bang, look at my site. Only 29 sites mentioned to me. I have 250 backlinks, but look at that trust flow, 31. All right. In my market, it's very, very competitive because everybody's trying to do marketing for local businesses. 
So people that do SEO know what the heck they're doing. So this is pretty easy for us to do, right? But uh, still, to be ranked number two, look at that trust flow. This, this chart, it's on another chart. It's so high, okay? So that's just to give you an example. That's where you want to be. You want this type of quality, and that's the type of quality that we can give you, okay, for your site to rank higher, to bring more sales, to bring more business, attract new clients, and all that awesome stuff that happens when you do great marketing, okay? Cool. So, um, I really hope that this video was awesome for you. Um, I ran it for 15 minutes. I really hope it makes sense. If you have any questions, please write me an email. All right, just reply to this email. I'm going to go over to my site, to my contact page, so you have my information. My office is in downtown. Um, you have my number, my email. Just If you have any questions, just hit me back. Um, but I look forward to helping you getting this knocked out of the park. SEO is a process. Like I mentioned to you, it's not going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen next week. But you will see improvements, dramatic improvements, in the first 30 days for sure. And... Uh, to really get up in the rankings, it will happen within the first three to six months. Okay, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Um, just ask for your patience, for your time. I understand you know it's a process, so that's good that we understand that going forward. And then also banging out your Google AdWord campaign. Real quick, I'm going to just do a quick search while you're here. San Diego error condition. Let me see if I can find your AdWord campaign on here. So I'm just looking at these AdWord campaigns. All right, don't see it. Bam, bam, don't see it. Don't see it. So I'm not sure, you know, where you're targeting your ads. Obviously, I'm in San Diego, and I just typed in the most profitable keyword that you definitely want to be ranking for. With your AdWords, so I'm not. I'm looking at these ads, and I don't see. Maybe you don't have it on right now. Right now, for me, it's almost 9 p.m. So a lot of people do this stuff during the night. That's why you want to be collecting emails and requests at nighttime. Um, yeah, I don't see it. Don't see it. Bam, bam. I'll search one more page. Okay, yep. I don't see your ad anywhere. So maybe it's not running right now or you went over your budget for the day. Um, but you definitely want to be out there 24-7. No, Google thinks I'm a robot. All right, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, but... I appreciate you watching, Nick. Um, I look forward to um, driving your sales for you with SEO and PPC. Awesome. Thanks. Have a good night, and I look forward to chatting with you. Peace.